All right, here we go. So, uh, final project is going to be on the difference between yield maintenance and defeasance. So this is a really important, uh, these are really important concepts to understand if you are pursuing commercial real estate after um, this uh, intro to construction class. So first off, what are yield maintenance and defeasance? So um, traditionally they're viewed as a quick exit strategy for borrowers of money for a commercial mortgage-backed securities loan. Um, essentially, it's a promise of yield matching payment of that loan to allow for the repayment to the lender to be the same of what they expected before. So as if the loan had, con loan had continued um, the same way. So they fundamentally are completely different, but they serve the exact same purpose to the lender, which is I want my money on the schedule that I was promised at the original origination of the loan, and so that's what uh, they do. So why do I care? Why should I care about yield maintenance or defeasance? Um, when you're trying to refinance or sell a piece of commercial real estate, um, a lot of contracts say like, okay, you can't sell directly, you can't refinance um, without certain conditions, and um, that's when yield maintenance and defeasance come into play. So it's normally forbidden in a lot of the contracts, um, and so people will kind of want to exit that um, loan and or they'll want to refinance that loan and to do that they have to um, either defease or begin uh, or do a yield maintenance uh, process um, because the lenders need the returns that they were promised at the beginning. So uh, first off yield maintenance um, it's viewed as a two-part payment um, in a lump sum so it's pretty straightforward um, the two parts include the loan's unpaid balance, so whatever's left over. So if it's you know a uh, million dollar loan, and after the first three years there's seven hundred thousand left, um, uh, the first part, the unpaid balance, would be the seven hundred thousand um, dollars. And then second to that, there's a prepayment penalty, and this is where yield maintenance and defeasance uh, differ. Uh, that fee is calculated by taking the remaining balance. Uh, and multiplying it by the difference in the original yield versus the bond yield um, that you could get from purchasing securities, um, such as you know uh, U.S. Uh, U.S. bonds, um, and so you would take you know the difference in your yield. So say your interest rate was four percent, and the current U.S. Treasury yield for the remaining term of your lien was two point five percent. So you'd have to pay a fee of one and a half percent times your leftover um, principal payment, um, principal balance left on the loan. So that's how you get the yield maintenance fee and the total cost of yield maintenance is going to be the uh, that percentage times the principal balance plus what's ever left over of that principal balance. So that's part one. So defeasance is uh, similar to yield maintenance but essentially it's very different um, in the business. So um, the borrower. So if you're if you have seven hundred thousand dollars left um, of unpaid principal balance on your loan, you are going to purchase government securities um, as collateral to your loan to cover the remaining principal balance on the loan. So um, if you have uh, seven hundred thousand dollars outstanding and your interest rate is four percent, um, you have to purchase the enough securities to generate the amount of money that your original payment would generate um, so to essentially satisfy the debt service for the remaining term of the loan um, so you purchase those securities in a lump sum um, as opposed to uh, yield maintenance where you purchase you pay for the money as if they could purchase the securities but essentially you're just paying them up front so with defeasance you're literally purchasing the securities um, and then those are held by a third party and generate the income the of the exact amount that your money would have done at uh, their money would have done to you borrowing from them um, so occasionally the cost of the securities may be less so if you're borrowing at three percent and the US Treasury bonds are at three point three percent then you could actually uh, make money, and so that's what's called a defeasance discount. So 
Um, that's how the two terms are different. Um, so finally, uh, the important question of which one is better, which one should I choose? Um, if you think about it in theory, they should be the exact same amount of money. Um, you know, whether you're paying the penalty up front with yield maintenance all in one lump sum, or if you're purchasing the securities to generate the income to satisfy the debt service of the loan, um, they should be the exact same amount of money. But depending on the wording in your contract of your loan, um, there are favorable and unfavorable terms for defeasance and yield maintenance. Um, that is a discussion for a whole nother day. Um, but in general, the two should be the same price. But depending on interest rates and everything, you will find that defeasance or yield maintenance might be better for your situation. So in truth, it depends. So that is yield maintenance and defeasance.